All right, so um, today you guys are gonna look at two species of body um with slides and specimens, and then we have some more um, specimens laid out for you as well. And so this is actually a really diverse phyla, and there's some individuals that are completely free living, um, non-harmful to any other organisms, and there are some that are parasitic. And then there's actually species that we're gonna talk about in lecture, but we don't have a whole ton of specimens that are sort of in between, that they actually have free living stages and parasitic stages. So you guys are kind of looking at the extremes of a planaria that's free living and a tapeworm, which I'm calling an extreme parasite, um, because they basically don't have real free living stages. And for the planaria, these are also called flatworms. Um, and we have both slides of whole mounds, so of the whole organism slapped down and um, stained in different ways, and you actually have free living forms that you'll look at under the di dissecting scope. And these guys are really cute. They have these eye spots. They look like eyeballs, but they are not. They actually just sense light. And these little guys live in fresh water. They tend to live under rocks and in the mud and under leaf litter. Um, they're even really common out here. And so they're constantly trying to swim away from the light under the microscope. So try not to shine a ton of light on them because that's, that's what they're doing. They're trying to escape you. Um, and then for the tapeworm, tapeworms, and you'll see it on the specimens, are really, really, really long. And so on the slide, you just have different sections of the tapeworm. So you have a head section, you have a section farther along, and then you have ones that are actually um, filled with eggs and they're gonna beat off the organisms and basically be shed in feces of the animal. Um, so kind of cool to look at and that's why, um, yeah, as you go from the head, they're actually called immature glottids and then they um, and then in your atlas they're labeled as mature glottids and gravid ones um, the animal actually grows from the head end and it starts growing gonads on those different little sections and the gonads actually release egg and sperm they either cross or self-fertilize and finally the last little sections um, actually just become they're basically just cases full of eggs um, and then finally, you're asked to, sh to explain some differences between the planaria and the tapeworms. So really broad things that might have to do with being free living or being parasitic. And so you can just think about what you can see on these organisms and how they're different. And then you can also look in your textbook for some differences between parasitic forms and free living ones. Cool.